Before we get into part four of my quality of life update fixes for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, just want to let you guys know that I have sent part one, two, and three to Bandai via the ticket support that they do. And I actually got a reply from them quite quick. On the screen right now, you can see the reply. I linked the three videos as well as the list of the quality of life features for easy viewing for them, all that good stuff. So long story short, they have acknowledged that they've got it and that it has been sent to the development team of Dragon Ball Universe 2, Dims or what have you. I know Dims are the, the developers, but I don't know if it's been sent to them directly or a different part of Bandai for consideration or what have you. Long story short, at an absolute bare minimum from part one, two, and three of my quality of life updates for Universe 2, at an absolute bare minimum, they now know that we want this for future updates for previously mentioned Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Again, bare minimum, they now know, but as you can, well, as you saw, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to do it, but at least they now know. So, fingers crossed, all that good stuff. Don't know how many more videos will be in this mini-series, this is part four, probably a little bit longer than the other parts, just because I think I've got like 16 or 17 uh, quality of life fixes here. If I've missed anything, let me know in the comments of the video. Subscribe if you haven't, 50% of you are not, etc, etc. Let's get into the first one in part four of my quality of life fixes. Please, oh please, allow us to mute the hero Colosseum. Not only is it annoying, but it's extremely loud, and I don't think it was meant to be this loud, because you listen to it, it's actually slightly distorted, as if they've not leveled it properly. But just have an option, for example, we can like change the you know, certain sounds in Xenoverse 2, like the music settings, the uh, voice settings, background noise. Just have another slider for announcement settings, so we can either you know, switch that all the way up or down, or mute it completely. I, I can't like I understand why they w probably haven't done that yet because you used to be able to spend TP medals and you still can when you could actually buy specifically TP medals, not now STP medals, but when you could buy TP medals, uh, which basically is like the old micro currency for Dragon Ball Universe 2. You could then use them to progress easier and faster in the Hero Coliseum. But given that it's been several updates since I even updated the Hero Coliseum and you can no longer purchase TP medals, I think it's about time for us to have the option to mute the Hero Coliseum. Please, oh, please. Harunga, the Namekian dragon. <laughs> Shout out Zamasu. So you can add Puranga or keep this as Sharon. It doesn't matter which either and or both but it should make it so if you summon for example Puranga or Shenron later on give us the option to wish for free wishes at a given time for example if you were to reset your stats naturally you can only reset your stats once right that would be a way so that would then get grayed out it's or you know if it's like a renewable wish for example to level up to get Zenny and or TP medals you should be able to wish for that as many times up to three times as you wanted to like if I mean, to be honest, they should just add Purunga in because it's a shame that they didn't. Again, shout out to Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, which had Shenron, Purunga, and Ultimate Shenron from Dragon Ball GT. I would love for them to add more Shenrons into the Xenoverse series. We know in the, well, in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, there's going to be Shenron and at least Super Shenron. Wouldn't mind that. Um, I don't think they should add any sort of like super rare wish, uh, yeah, wish like, for example, they shouldn't make it so... No, actually, no. Add a new Awoken via Purunga. Why not? Yeah, I was thinking with Super Shenron, they shouldn't because that could be, you know, like, I think if they ever... It probably won't happen for these Universe 2, but if they ever did in Universe 2 add Super Shenron, I imagine that would be extremely rare and maybe limited to maybe, for example, if your team won the overall Festival Universes, they might give them out that way. Don't keep an Awoken to that, but for Purunga, that could actually work. Again, do let me know what you think about this in the comments of the video. To further increase the customization that we have right now in Xenoverse 2, there should be an option in addition to what we have right now for, well, for us to use like a sort of like RGB color slider. Again, in addition to like the options we have right now, maybe we can click on any sort of color option, then use the slider to further customize it. I forget off the top of my head because it's been about 10 years since I played Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z, but I think Battle of Z had this. 
if Battle of Z of all games, of all Dragon Ball games, had a like an RNG uh, or what it's called a like, uh, slider color thing, there's absolutely zero reason why Xenoverse One, sh you know, shouldn't have well should have it. And anyway, that's it. Should be in Xenoverse Two. I think this will be quite an easy one to add. To be honest, but again, I don't know how game development works, so we'll leave it as that right now. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this one specifically. In the comments of the video. There is a literal information board in Canton City in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 that gives you info on like the scoreboard, ranking, stuff like that. But they should update it so it has information and the rewards for the current raid that would be ongoing at a specific time. So as of Let's say if the tape right now, if it's available, you'll be able to go into Canton City when the raid's on or as it's about to start, like when they announce it on the official Dragon Ball Universe 2 website. And it should tell you what the rewards are and how many points you need to get for said reward instead of going to the website. Now, I don't really mind the website. I've got it bookmarked. So I check it like, once or twice a day just in case anything new pops up and all that good stuff. But given that we've got a literal information board in game, in Canton City, in the Xenoverse, to i don't know why they don't update this i believe they update it with the tp metal store information but why they don't do it for the actual rewards that are available from getting certain points in a raid i really don't quite know why they haven't done that at least why they haven't done that yet in the same update for dragon ball Xenoverse 2 that added the ultra instinct awoken skill for custom characters another thing that they added was the ability to randomize your move set as you can see right here this is great it's a fantastic start you can even choose if you want to have mostly key skills mostly strike skills or mix as you can see the options here or at some point right i'm recording the commentary in advance before the footage don't worry about it but something i've noticed is that it doesn't actually randomize your awoken skill so i have updated it so it also randomizes your awoken skill and then to further add on to this have it so you can also randomize your super soul click a button and it will randomize the super soul when you are selecting your super soul maybe not for your qq bank but wouldn't mind that either but also especially for your outfit and accessory to completely randomize it going back now to the original xenoverse game dragon ball xenoverse or if you want to be i guess technical <laughs> long-winded as well dragon ball xenoverse one i'm not too sure if this was a glitch or if it was intentional but this was removed from the xenoverse well was removed from Xenoverse 2 rather coming off of Xenoverse 1 where in story mode if you were in a transformation as in I don't know if you worked with Kyle Kane but with Super Saiyan let's just say for example you would stay in Super Saiyan for the cutscene the cutscene in the time nest I will try and get the footage from this but I forget off the top of my head if you can actually do this without having to make a new character but it just changed it so you would be like super saiyan or have you during the cutscene it was a cool little thing i'm fairly certain specifically for xenoverse 1 that this was some sort of glitch or bug hence why it was removed for xenoverse 2 but naturally if it does get added to xenoverse 2 xenoverse 3 or have you it wouldn't be able you wouldn't be able to do this with every walking skill for example you wouldn't be able to do this with the namekian become giant super namekian giant namekian whatever you want to call it something that i'm actually disappointed wasn't in xenoverse one and naturally in Z even more disappointed they wasn't in xenoverse two naturally is that when you unlock pretty much every character and every stage you don't get like a pop-up like in old dragon ball games like raging blast budokai and the budokai tenkaichi game saying that you've unlocked a character or a stage you just unlock it and then you don't know you've unlocked it until you go and try and actually select it of course this isn't for every character it's most characters for example with hit Omega Shenron, Nova Shenron, and Ice Shenron, you do get technically a pop-up that you got these because of when you, well, you get them by summoning Shenron and it says, oh, you've unlocked this character. Let's go back to like the old games where would you complete a mission or a story mode mission, it will tell you if, that you've unlocked a character and bonus points if they also say what preset you unlock. I think this is in the game technically, 
via the second festival of universe event anyway when you unlock a character it will say that oh you've maxed it you've got this character you've maxed them out you've now unlocked for example preset two as an example the festival preset of characters such as android 16 i just wish they would completely revamp this or at the very least fix it in the eventual dragon ball the anniversary so we can actually see what we unlock when we unlock it. The ability to change your idle stance animation, please and thank you ever so much. So there's a few ways you could uh, you know, implement this. Maybe make it so you get like a little bit of like um, an option or what have you or the ability to change your idle stance in base form it can also be for the welcome, but for this, let's just go for base form. When you, for example, max out your mentor's friendship get z ranks all that good stuff this one's very straightforward it wouldn't change anything i don't think i don't necessarily know if this will make it easier or rather faster to for example key cancel but yeah the ability to change your idle stance animation would love that technically in the game already via the beast of Walken and super sane free when you feed the margins in the margin boot time rift Eventually, an option will come up to calm them down, which will keep them as they are, or for them, to, or for you to guard rather, and they will then change them to one of the other two colors. But I think once you've actually unlocked all three of the colors on each of the margins, when they change, you should have the option to guard, then an option to have what color you want them to be, just so you know it makes it easy to then get. If, for example, if you want to get a certain super soul or a certain clothing, like the hmm 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 Elder Kai, extremely overpowered super soul, by the way, or if you want to try and get the the super baby vegeta outfit you should be able to once you've unlocked the colors on them to say what a uh, color you want them to be so you can then grind out the clothing or the equipment super souls and stuff like that again this is truly a quality of life feature because it's just going to make it easier to do rather than having to grind it out until you eventually get the color that you want. New fighting styles for custom characters. This is one of, and dare I say, quite possibly the most commented feature on these specifically quality of life update videos for Xenoverse 2 that I've been doing recently. I've not mentioned this for a reason, and that reason being is that this isn't exactly a quality of life update, but you know what? Like, I'm actually a little bit surprised how many comments I got for this specifically, and maybe I've got so many comments on this because I've not mentioned it yet. I'm absolutely for this, absolutely. I would love this that gets added. Like, let's say, once again, you max out your mentor friendship, you then get their fighting style to use on your custom characters. However, this would be, this has to be done with care because everyone will just end up picking hits uh, preset or well, hits fighting style or Final Form Cooler's fighting style. And it's going to kind of destroy the game, at least the PvP, or these ranked will become even more, well, even worse than it is as of right now. So if they ever did this, there's two ways you can do it. Either have it so there's new fighting styles that are original to custom characters that are built so it can't be, you know, I guess like exploded, like hits moveset. Or if you do, you know, adding mentor presets or presets, so mentor movesets, either and or with original movesets or on their own, they have to fix some of the things that are broken with right now. Again, if they don't and hit get, you know, hits fighting so gets added, everyone, quite literally everyone, at least everyone who knows what they're doing, would pick that because if you don't, you just won't keep up. Right, you just want. There's a reason Hit is the best character in Dragon Ball Universe 2 as of right now. So if they don't fix that, or if they don't do it with care and fix the exploits, it's going to kind of ruin at least the ranked side of Universe 2. Hence, why you see in ranked most people running either characters like Final Form, Cooler, Awoken, Hit, or a male Earthling because it is the best. So if it gets added, it absolutely has to get added with care. But I don't necessarily think new fighting styles is a specifically quality of life feature fix the auras in canton city yes fourth time i mentioned this because this is so ridiculously bad it's so bad eventually i may put all of these together as one super long like marathon video to try and get more attention on them you know so dims and ban i can see that we want these so if i do i probably won't add all four thousand i'll probably re-record it one time but yeah if you don't know as of right now how the auras work in canton city in dragon balls universe 2 you equip it like a vehicle and or like a cc mascot and i mean you can just see it right here 
you have to basically not fly if you want to keep it equipped. And it doesn't even keep it equipped in, you know, it, when you're fighting. It's just specifically when you are standing still or walking in Condon City. It is so bad, but I've, I've spoken about this before. You guys know my stance on this. Let's, let's move on. This next one, I can't actually imagine that the match is going to fix this, at least not in Xenoverse 2, but do you know what? If you never ask, the answer is always no. Fix the Super Saiyan hair so it actually spikes up when you use Super Saiyan. It technically will spike up if you use Super Saiyan 3, but that's just a model swap and the Gohan Beast Awoken, well, that's not a Super Saiyan form, but if you use Super Saiyan 1, 2, Super Vegeta 1, Super Vegeta 2, Future Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue or Blue Evolution, it just changes the color of your hair. This is one where it's like, look, I'm not expecting this to get added, but again, quite a lot of people have suggested this. So do you know what? If you never ask, the answer is always no. Fix the Super Saiyan hair so it actually spikes up when you become a Super Saiyan. Also, for all of these suggestions that I've spoken about and that I've spoken about that you guys have suggested, this next one is one that, out of all of them, I, I it's not gonna happen, but you know what? They're just trying to do it anyway. If you never ask, the answer's always no. The ability to convert Zenny to TP medals, not to STP medals, that's never gonna happen because that's now the main micro currency for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, they will never allow us to convert either and or both Zenny and TP medals to STP medals, so right off the bat, that's never gonna happen. But if they ever did allow us to change Zenny to TP medals, the only way I can realistically see them doing it and I disagree with this, but it's just how I imagine that because it's a business, the diminished returns would absolutely not be worth it. What do I mean by that? Given you can still buy some of the more premium items that are, you know, you can buy with STP medals using just TP medals, the way to spend the additional money, right? So that said, if they ever did allow us to change or convert Zenny to TP medals, I can't imagine it being any less than 100,000 Zenny for one. TP medal. Quite honestly, they might even make it so for one TP medal, maybe it's a million Zenny because of how incredibly easy it is to get Zenny as of right now in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. But again, I don't think they will ever do this. But maybe the F, yeah, maybe they actually will because I know a lot of us have a ton of Zenny because we just builds up, we've bought everything. So it could give us a you know, way to convert it to the TP medals. But again, don't hold your breath on this one. I can't, uh, I, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but you know what? If you don't ask, the answer is no. Please give us the option to return directly to the lobby screen once we finish a mission, a parallel quest, a, you know, an online fight, play match, or what have you, instead of it temporarily going to, or firstly going rather, to the Toki Toki City, like lobby world thing. Like as you can see on screen right here, just give us the option to actually even like switch that off so it makes it faster for loading so we just go you know, directly back to the uh i don't know what you call it, like the lobby menu thing so you just ready up and then continue with what you were doing i kind of dislike that they added this it's like yeah it's cool but give us the option to switch this on or off or what the default should be i'm not too sure how or even if they could implement this next one but there should be the ability to change the appearance on presets outside of the clothing and accessory as in having different hair that isn't a wig you know different hair color all that good stuff again i don't know how they will add this i imagine it'll be quite complicated because then if what if you then accidentally save over the preset if they can actually manage to do this absolutely fantastic i would rather love that if I do say so myself. We should have the ability to purchase partner customization keys and the Supreme Kai of Time as playable characters using TP medals or STP medals instead of having to grind through, you know, the online raids to eventually get them or to wait like between every two to eight, sometimes more, sometimes less, you know, weeks for the return of the Supreme Kai of Time event, which granted once it's there, it is a little bit grindy, but it is very easy to actually unlock her as a character. But if you've got everything else unlocked and you're waiting for that to happen, you may have TP medals and or STP medals to spare. So just throw them into the medal shop in Canton City as like, you know, gifts or have you. 
maybe a new column there or new role option rather so you can buy any of the partner custom keys that are in the game as of right now and future ones as well as the ability to purchase supreme kai of time as a playable character outside of her online event and that's my part four of quality of life updates that i want to see added to future updates to dragon ball xenoverse 2. once again let me know if i've missed anything don't know if there's going to be a part five onwards on you know in this series if there is let me know what you want to see in that with that said thank you for watching more videos on the screen right now and i will see you on one of these videos in just a moment